time to say farewell to Mayberry. This place filled in a lot over the weekend. There are a lot of rigs in here. So we got to do a typical pack up day, flush, dump, everything as far as the outside for me. Um, interesting where we're going, however, we were just a short few weeks ago or a week ago at Fort Sumter where the Civil War began. We're on our way to the site where the Civil War ended. We're going to be at Appomattox. We'll get things packed up here in a little bit. We'll be on the road. Not a big travel day, so we're not in a hurry, but we do need to get out before checkout time here. So we're on our way. Next stop, Appomattox. to the Appomattox campground. Uh, I'll put the actual name of the place in the comments below uh, and it'll also be on the website. Pros of this place that we've seen so far, I mean it's a beautiful campground, it's very rustic. Right outside our side view we've got this lake, looks like they rent paddle boats possibly. Swimming, slide, there's fishing docks over here, catch and release I believe. Though we're set up on the end sites, our picnic table and fire ring are all the way out here on the opposite side of the steps. Now the cons, extremely uneven site. This has got to be the worst uneven site we've had so far. It is really off and actually hooking up is going to be tricky because when we unhooked, this side of the truck was pushing up under here. In fact, you see where it was rubbing. The truck was at such a sharp angle to pull away cause the back end to pop up into the rig. Our best bet in hooking up and pulling out, I think, is to come in at an angle because this drops off so much right here. So we're gonna have to come in at an angle to hook up and possibly not lower the hitch pin until we get practically under it. Uh, more on that when we leave here in three days. So yeah, that is really the worst we've seen. Anyways, we do have some places we're gonna go see while we're here and that's going to be it we're going to be checking out lynchburg and appomattox where the civil war ended isn't that cool all right so that's about it we'll talk to you soon well we're here at appomattox courthouse national yeah, historic sure. park had to get that right yeah. and we're about to tour through where the civil war ended, ended. as you saw oh, a week twice. or so ago a couple weeks ago a lot of traffic on this road. A couple weeks ago, we were at Fort Sumter where it began. This is where it ended. So, so and then we'll be somewhere in between in a couple weeks. So. Oh yeah, so we'll be right. seeing a lot of uh, Civil War stuff here to come. So let's go take a look at where the war ended. Yeah. <laughs> Appomattox, here on Sunday, April 9th, 1865, after four years of heroic struggle in defense of principles believed fundamental to the existence of our government, Lee surrendered 9,000 men, the remnant of an army still unconquered in spirit. Uh, spot, but it's actually the plain house, which was next to the courthouse, which is where the actual meeting took place between Lee and Grant. Are you stuck here? And Don is getting all sorts of crazy paranormal stuff on her paranormal apps, which you would probably expect. 
yeah, this was a it was like just a small, small little um, stagecoach stop, wagon stop, whatever, uh, back at that time. But uh, the final battle took place just on the land around us here. His army got cut off. And look at that battle site where they got to get too brave. Yeah. on the outside when you think about it it's not that many rooms no it's not yeah you have uh but they're big rooms they're big rooms you got the whole kitchen area warming kitchen as they put it down here mm -hmm. the formal dining room on the other side a bedroom and parlor sitting area in the middle level mm -hmm. and then bedrooms upstairs and it's interesting how back you've got the actual kitchen and the slave quarters. The smokehouse is right here. At one point, it's gone. No. Basically, we're right here. Yeah. So we're in the backyard, back here. Oh my gosh, if I should venture over. sure if I can get back to it. I'm going to try to find a trail. The land in this whole area was owned by the Sweeney family. Joel Sweeney lived in this area. The burial site of the Sweeney family, the grave site, is somewhere out here as well. But he was uh, attributed to modernizing the banjo. It was an African folk instrument. Uh, now, it was the Africans did, or the, the blacks that played it, that came from Africa, they did add the fifth string to it, but he modernized it and created a style that became popular in the minstrel circuit. And uh, he lived and died in this area. So the Sweeney cabin is about 0.3 miles straight ahead. Walker Sweeney, there he is. Now this cabin out here was the home of Joel Sweeney's brother. It's being restored. Short distance inside these woods stood Robert E. Lee's last headquarters here, April 8, 1865. He held his final council of war here on April 10th. He issued his farewell order to his army. From here on, April 12, he departed for home across a devastated landscape to war ravage regiment. It's a shame that through a steady stream of auto noise, cars from the road, you can just imagine the peacefulness of this area. 
which is kind of ironic because it was the headquarters of the final Confederate troops. And this area right here where Lee had his encampment. On this spot were established the headquarters of the Army of the Northern Virginia, General Robert E. Lee, commanding from April 8th to April 11th, 1865. So he commanded from this spot. Head on back. And obviously, the spot was perfect to be able to be hidden. Talking to a historian, it was interesting to hear the story behind the surrender. In most surrenders, there's all sorts of really bad things placed upon the soldiers. Lincoln wanted to give them a chance to have an out and not be punished as they were basically just doing what they believed and shouldn't have been punished. The, in order to heal, Lincoln's plan was let them go home, let them go back to their farms, go back to their wives, their families, and just try to start to be rebuild their life. And if it wasn't for John Wilkes Booth thinking he was being a patriot by killing Lincoln, he basically caused the reconstruction to be much slower and at some points non-existent and the whole system would be botched. A lot of the problems we're facing today is most likely the result of John Wilkes Booth's decision to kill Lincoln. A lot of cars pass through here. This is apparently a major thoroughfare. It's a shame because it'd be nice if this could be kept a little bit more secluded and a little bit more reverent. There's a handful of historic events that are especially important to this country. And of course, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, but here, the preservation of the Union. A highly significant spot for this country, and this one, unlike 1776, is probably overlooked a lot of the times. Most people are not even sure what Appomattox is, or are not even sure what the significance is, but this is a very important place in our nation's history. and I are going for a little bit of a walk. What you looking at, buddy? There are some positives to this campground. And there's some cons to this campground. One, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful campground. You've got this lake out here. I love these Civil War cannons. Well, not real cannons. I got a little bit of a clubhouse out here. But there's these little flies. Don't even see them everywhere. It's loaded with bugs. Come on, let's go up this way. You do have a nice little outdoor area, but I doubt you'd be able to use it because of the bugs. Yeah, so we've got, uh, you know, I, sorry, more bugs. I would hope that they would be able to spray at least some. Man, these bugs are everywhere. They're hitting my ears. There's some big green areas. I mean, it is it's beautiful, I have to admit, but the roads are uneven. There's a lot of potholes. The sites, they claim mostly level. No, not really. It's mostly not level. You can see just from the way they work that they're really off. Yeah, you can see that over there how I do have the right jack. The one on the door side is uh, was extended actually less than the one on the right. Though we are still way off balance, even trying to adjust a little bit there. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty awful. Now one of the cool things is there are fireflies. I don't know if you guys see them or not, but I shot video. I tried coming down here once before, but the bugs were too bad. They're a little, a little lighter at the moment. 
Don't pull me down this hill. Ooh, spider webs. Lots of spider webs. I think we need to... No, nope, I think we need to get away from here. Too many big spider webs. Come on. Spider webs and bugs. All right, we're going to go back. So, yeah, there's... At glance, it's beautiful. There's really some nice stuff going on. But then in the same respect, the number of bugs, spiders. Oh, did I mention snake? Yeah. Yesterday we found this huge black snake crossing the road. Now, I probably say huge black snake because I'm not used to seeing snakes crawling around my campground. They might say it was just average or a baby. I don't know, but it was a big black snake. Freaked Dawn out. <clears throat> Come on, Atka. So whenever we go for walks now, we're constantly looking down for snakes. All right, so, but I heard the black snakes aren't poisonous, and they tend to kill the poisonous snakes. But this one was pretty aggressive. This guy was trying to chase it off with a broom, and it was attacking the broom, so go figure. Come on. I'll have a full write-up eventually. I've gotten a little behind in my campground reviews but depending when you watch this i'm hoping to be caught up by the time this airs but uh just to give you a heads up in real time this is late june in fact it's june 28th we have a travel day june 29th heading to washington dc which just wanted to give you a little bit of a look of the campground it is like i said it's beautiful but unfortunately there's a lot of cons too that's it so this is what I'm talking about. This is an absolute mess. This is so uneven that we can't properly connect. Now, when I lower this hitch, we're probably gonna to be touching here. Um, we're at an angle, so. Yeah, it's not lowering, look at this. Steve, I can put my fingers in. No, get your fingers out. No, I know. I'm just letting you know. Stop. All right, go ahead. Hit the button. All right, stop. It's not working. Well, we're at such an angle that we're not able to connect yet. So I'm going to have to do a few things to try to get this locked up. So I'm going to shut this off for now. Well, Don and the dogs are in the car cooling off. We finally got hooked up. I didn't show you the whole process because we just had to get it done. It took us a half hour to figure it out. I had to put blocks under the tires. I got my wooden blocks down there. Yeah, we had to put those wooden blocks under the tires in order to bring that side of the truck up to make the truck level enough to hook up. And that should not be. Um, truthfully, I don't think I can recommend this campground to anyone who has a fifth wheel because it would be really difficult. Now, Class A's, Class C's, pull trailers, you're probably going to be okay, uh, other than trying to level. But as far as the uh, fifth wheel, that hitch up process is scary. So I would definitely be careful about that if you're coming this way. Anyways, that's it. We're going to get on the road. We'll see you in D.C. Well, Virginia has been cool. It's been interesting. Uh, There's so much Mixed more emotions here. on the campground. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Snakes. Mm. Snakes, bugs. Yeah, bugs. Atka likes the fireflies. I'm hoping I can get some of that tonight. We'll see. Yeah. So. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's been interesting. This is where, um, like we said, the war ended. Yeah. And so, there's so much more to see here than than we really thought there yeah. would be. But, so don't but, pass up Appomattox. No, but speaking of ending, we're ending this video here. <laughs> Just like the Civil War had to end, so does this video. So give us. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell let you know when we post every Sunday at 2 thumbs up for good measure don't and forget our website www.rodcamelot.com Facebook and Twitter yeah Twitter, inst Instagram Facebook and Instagram we don't tweet and bugs alright and bugs everywhere <laughs> yes get away from the bugs alright safe travels salon <laughs>